with Juliana Margulies. Give it up, y'all. All right, it's another Rad Mama Hour again. Um, there are a few things that are guaranteed during any Mama celebration here on The Kelly Clarkson Show. Good times, crazy stories, unexpected confessions, wine, and our next guest, because I love them. You know them from their hit podcast and web series, I Mom So Hard. They have a new children's book, Meanest of the Meanies. <laughs> I love y'all. Out right now. Please welcome Kristen Hensley and Jen Smedley, everybody. Hi. I'm Hello. a drink right. How are you doing, ladies? We are great. We're happy to be here. I'm trying to make sure Kristen stays on this couch and away from I just want to be so close to both of you. <laughs> <laughs> and I keep getting further away, and I know that's because I'm a slight security risk, but I'm just, I'm really far away from Wait, you guys. Wait, you to the end. You guys are going like, to put me in the side. <laughs> and the next time you're going to be with the band. It's fine. <laughs> That'd be uh, awesome. <laughs> so you've been, you've been busy since I last saw you, so tell us about your new children's book. I love the title, Meanest of the Meanies. So is it about mean kids? <laughs> uh, well, they can be mean. They don't mean to be, but they're honest. That's not always great. Mm -hmm. um, but it's just the idea that no matter what you do as a mom, your kid views it as something you're doing that's mean or uncool or you're stopping their fun. And all you're trying to do is build a decent human, you know, and the only way they're going to thank you is someday when they have kids, but that's a long time from now. So we figured we'd write a children's book and celebrate among our, our mom crowd. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so every mom in our house seats um, can obviously, you know, relate to the highs and lows, hilarity and humiliation of trying to raise our kids right. Um, that's why we'd love to invite everyone in our audience to Wine to Mommy. Wine to Mommy. This is a safe space to laugh, cry, commiserate. Um, so are you ready for this? You've never done this with us before. I've never done this. I'm a little nervous, <laughs> You're nervous. but I'm I game. She just, every time somebody reaches front, she's like, sure, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I'm like, are we fake drinking or are we? I have not, no. I've had like a, totally a third of this. Um, so let's get to the sharing, uh, starting with Raven. So Raven, first of all, congratulations. Your little one is almost here, right? Almost here, thank you. Hi, how are you guys doing? Oh my God, you are so beautiful. You're so cute. Oh, um, so, thank you. <laughs> so, so what's going on with you? Okay, Kelly. So I'm 35 weeks pregnant. This is our first child me and my husband are expecting. Uh, we're just so excited for her to be here so soon and to see her little sweet face. So we're so excited. But since the beginning of this pregnancy, we have been getting advice from everybody all the time, every day. Um, some people are saying that we need to rock our baby because that's how you console and bond your baby. And then others say, no, never let them rock them. Let them cry it out so that they get comfortable kind of consoling themselves. Um, we've had people even say something crazy, like if we want her to walk early, then we have to have her in shoes all the time. Um, or even if I'm having crazy heartburn, it's got to be because my baby has a ton of hair. Uh, so Kelly, we just want to know, well, we constantly be bombarded with all these questions all the time, even after our baby girl gets here. Oh, yes. 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 And that was so annoying too. And I was people are trying to be helpful. I get it. But I was like, look, I'm not going to be that mom that's like, she has a tutor and she's going to end up Harvard and she's going to like, I'm not <laughs> like, I'm not, I'm not that mom. Like it's not, she's going to end up there if she wants to be there. Like it's like, let your baby walk when they're supposed to walk. Let your baby sleep. When it, I mean, do it how you want. I will say, now that I've said that, the one thing I did listen to was a book called 12 Hours by 12 Weeks. Okay. And it's the only thing I listened to. Everybody, I read books, I did things like with my first child and I was so worried. That really did help. It was the one advice I will say that changed my life, the sleep training thing. But at the same time, do whatever is natural for you and feels good for, for you and your man. Like it's like, it's whatever you want it to be, it's, it's gonna be that way. I, I think any way is fine. Yeah. Yeah, I think you have to, I mean, for, for me, you know, uh, I, I felt like it was really important for my child to feel safe in his own room and his own bed. And also I was newlywed, so I didn't want him in our bed with us. Like I felt like that wasn't a good thing. Um, and so it was great, he loves his bed, he loves his room, but then when I'd wanna like just take a nap with him, he was not interested in coming into my bed. Mm -hmm. So it's like, just find your way, you know? I, I feel like, I do know a lot of my friends who let their kids sleep in their bed, uh, then couldn't get them out of the bed. I say no to that. So I, I just yeah. wasn't interested in that, because I think, you know, ha happy parents, happy baby. Yes. Um, and I think that's more important, personally. Yeah. It feels like everybody always has advice. 
and things to tell a pregnant woman like we don't have, we're, we're just open to it. I say just be <laughs> polite and ignore everybody. But I, I was at Trader Joe's and this guy was helping me with my groceries. No, I didn't know his name until I looked at his price, at his name tag. But he felt he could tell me where I needed to put olive oil right before I delivered the baby. Oh. What? <laughs> Turns out olive oil can go in pasta and various parts of your orifices. anatomy of, <laughs> of your orifices. And I thought to myself, have, have you any idea that also, that sounded like an awesome idea. I did listen to him a little bit, but <laughs> at the end of the day, I was like, you're not my OBGYN, you're just a guy at Trader Joe's, but you feel like you're comfortable enough to tell me this very graphic yeah. birth story. We always think that like the most important piece of advice that you should be told by like other moms should clue you in on is uh, the first poop. Oh yeah. And we're not talking about the babies, we're nope. talking about yours <laughs> after delivery. <laughs> No one tells you that, but honest to God. Don't scare her. You can't. We're going to tell you to scare her. <laughs> Prepare yourself. Why do you think you learn how to breathe? It's for, the, I mean, my my son was 7'4 when he was born, and that first poop was like an 8'6. 100%. <laughs> it's like, yeah. That, yeah. People don't warn you. It is a weird experience for your body afterwards. <laughs> You're like, what? My man, y'all, um, they actually also invited their mamas today. Um, This is Jesse's mama, Jamie. Hi, Jamie. How you doing? Good, how you doing? I'm doing all right. I've got wine, Jamie, so it's a good day. Um, I hear you send Jesse songs that we should do on the show. Oh, I'm, I'm a big help. You know, I'm a helpful <laughs> mama. Uh, yeah, I, I have. I've sent her some that I thought. I mean, the thing is, Kelly, you can sing anything, any genre. It's just astounding. And, of course, this band can do anything, and in a very short period of time, yeah. So, um, yeah, so I'm trying to send them some songs. Um, I'm a big lyric fan. I oh. love a great lyric. So I've been on them for a while about something like, from my generation, Desperado, oh. you know, Don Henley, Eagles, Linda Ryan, the beautiful cover. Yes, also Clint Desperado. Black. Clint Black did that. Yeah. Oh. It's, it's a great song. And then another, I kept thinking through this whole last year and a half where we've all been through so much, and we've had to learn to be there for each other, even when we couldn't actually be there with each other. Mm. Um, I kept thinking of that genius Paul Simon and Bridge Over Troubled Water. Oh. I mean, have we not done that? that. Oh, we haven't. It's such a gorgeous. Song. I think you oh might God. have brought that up, Jesse. Because she texted me. Oh, okay. That's why. Okay. <laughs> No, okay. I was like, that's a great song, too. I can't believe we've done that. There are so many great ones. Please keep sending the songs. We love the song requests. Great. I'm, I'm all in. <laughs> yes, he knows. She's got the list. All right, all right. Those both are great. Let's add them, Jason. Um, all right. Well, thank you, Jamie. Everybody, let's get back to this Wine to Mommy session. Uh, we have Lester's Mama Pat wants to join in the discussion. So, Pat, it's great to see you. So what do you want to talk about? Oh, God. Yes, it's good to see you, too. Uh, mine is more of a grandma question. Um, I am a proud mom and a proud grandmother, and I have 11 grandchildren, and three of which are Lester's. And so my thing is, when the grandkids come, they know that there are no limits. Me and Papa will go all out of our way to make sure they're having a good time. We go to the movies. We go out to eat, we go shopping, and I'm like, here, yeah, go ahead and buy you something. We'll take care of it, don't worry. And so am I just doing a little bit too much, or should I pull back some? Let me answer this, Kelly. Lester, yes, Mom, Lester said, let me answer much. that. <laughs> Lester's like, yes, you're doing too much. I, I say do more, and especially a good way to spoil kids is to add to the 529. Yeah. That's a really Every time you take cash. them to dinner, just smash yeah. that in their college fund. <laughs> and then it doesn't feel so bad. But, like, grandparents are supposed to spoil the grandkids. Yeah. That's your way to get back at us for when we were unruly. You yeah. know? I think it's, I think it's nature. <laughs> we're not going to be helpful, Lester. My answer's not helpful <laughs> either. Because I do, because here's the thing, though. I, I look at them, because my mom will do stuff like that, too, and, you know, spoil them. And, and she loves it, and she doesn't see them as much, you know, so it's like, okay. So, but I let her do it, and it's just like, I tell my kids, this is not normal. This is grandma time. I was like, this is not what's going to happen every day. Like, this is just the time you have with you her. You earned that right. Yes. I, I think feel so. like you've earned that right. Lester, yes. you're screwed. 100%. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, I love it. I love it. I think you've earned it as well. Um, thank you so much, everybody. Kristen and Jen's new children's book, Meanest of the Meanies, is out right now. And look out for their new wine line coming soon. That's amazing. I, you have to come back and talk about that. Yep, I'm still here. Just waiting for you to subscribe. If you don't, I'll be trapped in this box forever. Help.